Has the rate of testing changed over the last couple of days, and can Rhode Island get to that number of 600 tests per day? Yes, so I would like to address that. As I think about what has to be in place in order to reopen the economy, probably the number one thing on that list is greater testing capacity. I would like to see us at this point next week getting close to seven, eight hundred tests a day. That's what we are aiming towards. Uh, it's an aggressive goal, but that's where we need to be and that's what we're pushing towards. Where we want, so the answer is yes, I think we can get there, and yes, I think it's within our sight a week from now. The plan going forward is we want to be able to test everybody who we think needs to be tested, quickly identify those folks who are positive or who've been exposed to somebody positive, and then put them into an effective quarantine or isolation. If we can get that system down, and if we have um, extra capacity for surge beds in our hospitals, then we can start talking about letting people go back to work. So I don't have a date that I can give the people of Rhode Island, but to give you a sense of how I'll know when we're ready, those are the metrics that we're tracking. Dr. Scott, this next question is for you. Based on the past two days' numbers, the amount pending tests are trending down. Is this good news or bad news? And are there less pending tests because less people are presenting symptoms, or are we rationing the tests that we have? This gives a good opportunity to reiterate the vision that the governor sent, said earlier. What we want to aim for is being able to have the laboratory supplies that we need to test every person who has symptoms. We reiterate that the test works best when people have symptoms. So our focus is to get there so that we can wrap our hands around all of the people that need to be identified if they have symptoms and they are positive for COVID-19, be isolated, and obtain who their contacts are. That's core public health and gives us the ability to really uh, put the lid on this virus and prevent it from spreading to the next person. We have to make sure that we have a stable influx of supplies, and I really credit the governor and our commerce leadership and all of the partners who are working with us to be creative about engaging manufacturers and doing what we need for Rhode Island to have those supplies. Until we get to that stable part piece where we are working um, very aggressively towards, we need to test the prioritized population that I've mentioned, the hospitalized, uh, those from congregate settings and nursing homes and healthcare workers. So the changes people are seeing now with testing um, are based on the fact that we're focusing on those prioritized. I would not use that to determine whether or not we have more or less cases because we really want to get to the point where we can test all of the people who have symptoms at prioritized groups and more. It's important for the public to be patient with us Understand that this is a scenario that every state is in, in terms of having a stable influx of laboratory supplies, but we are at the forefront with the governor's leadership of doing everything we can to get to that um, point. 